Want to see some festive themed parrot toys? Take a peek at this video to check them out. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am David and today I am going to be doing an impromptu unboxing video. I got sent a load of toys from Northern Parrots which are all festive themed. We were supposed to just take some lovely photos of them for them, but I thought that some of them were so cool they were well worth doing an unboxing of. So thank you very much Northern Parrots for sending this to us and let's share them with you. So if you fancy getting some yourself, you can see them and make your best picks. Let's start off with a trio. We've got these festive goodie boxes. Now you've got a snowman themed one, you've got a reindeer themed one. They're basically all foraging boxes made out of cardboard with loads of shreddable bits inside which you can stuff treats in. And then finally, everyone's favourite, we've got a Santa themed one. Now I haven't taken them out of the plastic yet because I don't want them to go funny until we're ready to play with them. But they're very inexpensive. They're meant to be destroyed. Your parrot can have lots of fun with them over the festive period. Then you can just reuse some of the parts or discard them. They're a really good, cheap, one-shot toy that your parrot can enjoy. Next one, Scampi Lights. Look, I keep peeking at it. It's the festive a Christmas cracker surprise parrot toy. It's kind of a similar theme. It's cardboard stuffed with loads of lovely shriveled materials. In a little Christmas cracker, we like that sort of theme. It's really nice. This is one we've actually bought before that the flock really enjoy. And again, you can stuff some treats in there to make it more fun or just let them destroy it as is. What we got next, Scampi? Shall we have a look? We've got a vine swing, a festive vine swing. Now, this is absolutely awesome. It's all natural materials. The only thing we don't like is the bells, as if you watch my channel, we're not fans of bells. They may be festive theme, but for us, they will be coming off when we give it to the uh, birds. Is this one for you? Mm, you're not sure, but it's a really nice toy other than that, and I think the birds will get a lot of joy out of it. Next one is a festive toy bucket. Again, it's got a bell on it coming straight off, but this looks like a lot of fun. I can see Kipling enjoying this. Basically, you probably can't see me hold it up here. You've got a metal bucket, which you can reuse for storage or bits and pieces, and inside you've got loads of natural materials. You've got part of, what are they, what are they called? Finger traps, party material, a bit of loofah, all sorts of things that they can go in there and destroy. For a larger parrot, I'd imagine this would be an awful lot of fun. For our guys, it'll be something they'll probably like to sit on outside the cage and just forage in. What have we got next, Scampi? You can investigate. We've got some, basically it's just uh, woven balls with some stuffed material. Could be a nice stocking filler. If you don't like that one, okay. And then I really like these. These are basically small festive lolly pops. There's three of them and they're, they're festive themed little items. Like you've got a little tree, a little uh, gingerbread man, a little star, all made out of hardwood. And even though it's hardwood, a lot of big parrots have really loved them as foot toys, and I know that Kipling is going to love these as well. As for woven balls, well, you can never get too many of them when you have parrots. Now, this one's called the Christmas Garden Small. The moment we saw this, we knew it would be a big hit. It's got little bits of balsa, woven stars, woven balls, yes, scampi do, and beads. Our birds all love these sorts of things. It's got loads of nice stuff. You can hang it as a garland, you can hang it as a toy. Uh, just, oh, it will go in any of the cages. It's also perfectly sized for small parrots, it'll be a lot of fun. Now what have we got here, Scampi? Do you want to look at that one? He doesn't like this one, he doesn't like the dummies. So we're not a big fan of plastic, but once we remove those, we've got the uh, the Christmas star. It's basically a woven star, and Pickles loves these sort of things. So we'll probably take the little plastic bits, because with Conyers beaks, we're not so sure. And maybe just put them in like foraging trail or something so they can throw them around outside the cage. But again, this is always a big hit. Anything like this, Pickles will always destroy it. Now Scampi isn't a fan of this one, he's actually retreated because it's rather large and this is basically a, a, like a big hanging tree toy. If you've got a big parrot, I think this would be absolutely amazing. Um, do be aware that it's got some cotton rope on there, so it's something you may want to play with outside the cage. But it's nice and large, it's got lots of stuff going on in there, so it could be quite fun. I'm not so big fan of the bells as usual, but then that's your personal choice if you have them. Our next one is a Jingle Bells Stacker. Now I think it's going to be a bit big for our flock. But if you've got a large parrot, this could be an awful lot of fun. You've got a big mixture of textures on here. You've got softer materials, you've got harder materials. You've got the bells again. I suppose it is a festive theme, but that's not for us. But loads of stuff that your parrot could really get into on that. Now, the name of this one is my last toy I'm showing, and it's my favourite name. It's the Festive Mega Munch. Now, on this, you've got loads of natural woven stuff. It's just got so many things that your parrot could destroy. You hear that a lot from me because that's what you want them to do, just destroy things, it's, it's what they want to do with toys. Loads of fun things to get into on that. And you could just, again, for, even for our flock, even though it's quite a large toy, it'll be a lot of fun. For a larger parrot, they'll probably get through it very quickly, which would be exactly ideal what you want. 
Finally, they sent us their catalogue with loads of little gift ideas and all sorts of bits and a nice Nutriberry sample. So those will be going for the birds as a nice treat. They can enjoy them while we peruse and see if there's any goodies we want. So guys, that's it. it brings me to the end of this impromptu unboxing video. I thought I'd share it because I was grateful to get these and I think I thought they deserved a little bit more than just a few photos. If you like any of these toys, don't forget to check out Northern Power at the store. They have lots of sales and all sorts of goodies going on. But in the meantime, from me, Pickles and Scampi with Sophie, take care and see you later.